This video is for a 2005 Fountain 38LX. Just going to walk around the outside showing it's beyond exceptional condition. So I definitely want to stress that when I walk around a lot, a number of boats, I'll see scratches or scuffs or, you know, different issues. I don't see any on this boat. Again, it's your responsibility to do a survey and make sure uh, that, you know, I may be wrong, but honestly, I just don't see anything that jumped out on this boat. It is absolutely gorgeous. It's kept inside of a garage, so it's not out in the weather. As you can see, there's no under, uh, there's no coating on the bottom, there's no paint, so you can see it just as the, the owner has it. I think that's very key, especially on a boat like this, because no survey can truly show the underside of a boat once it's painted. So definitely want to point that out. Sitting on a, a, a real extreme trailer, it does have two spare tires. Very nice. You know, certainly that trailer costs quite a bit of money. That goes with this boat. Let's just walk around and show you the exceptional condition. Like I said, there's nothing on this boat that stands out. It does have key kafer trim tabs on the boat. I'd say they're approximately uh, 24 to 26 inches. We have Mercury 275 Verados on the back. They are four stroke engines. Great shape. Just take a look. I mean, there's absolutely no damage on these engines. Certainly have seen plenty that have had damage on them. Let's just go down the side. I just want to show you the size. I mean, they're just a mirrored finish. Beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Let's take a look on the inside. Let me show you what this boat's about. I'm up in the cockpit area and we're just going to show you around the inside of this fountain. Absolutely gorgeous. Has a lot of different lockers. I've got the owner here who's going to pop them open for me. As you can see, there's a lot of storage underneath. Just coming on through here, we're up at the helm. You can see there's a Furuno, Furuno Navnet C-Map. I'll get you a model number on that in a bit. Does have a Clarion stereo with Sirius satellite. Gorgeous, absolutely beautiful. Look at this vinyl. You only see that with boats that are kept inside. You come over here, we've got room down, a nice big fish locker, huge. I'd say that's probably, uh, you're pushing more than 48 inches. Lots of storage all the way around. You can see that there's speakers on both sides. There's also a subwoofer on this boat. Go down underneath it here. Again, lots of storage. has a Westerbeek uh, engine or uh, generator. Everything looks very clean. Hot water heater, very nice. The bait well is approximately 35 gallons. Please don't hold us to it, but approximately 35 gallons, if not larger. Got the controls there for your electrical system. Just start heading up towards the front. There's that subwoofer I was telling you about. Cup holders. Oh, well, I was going to get back to that. Well, <laughs> we've got a lot of room up front here. This this boat comfortably, honestly, you can easily get ten people on this boat and really not be stepping on each other. You know, obviously, if you're fishing, you don't want that many people. But if you're out there with your wife and your kids and now you talk about an all-around boat. Now, the one thing I definitely want to emphasize and really overemphasize, this is very clean. It's very nice. This is a 2005. I think it's in exceptional condition. Certainly, you know, something you're, you're just not going to see very often, especially for a boat that's, uh, you know, it's out of the water. Any of the ones that are in the water, the owners don't get a chance to touch them. That's why I really love showing boats that are on trailers because they sit at the owner's houses, the owners get to touch them and feel them, go down through, fix things, tinker. Just absolutely gorgeous. There's no smells, no mildews, no smoke owners. The owner's a non-smoker. Definitely has kept his boat in pristine condition. 
show you back around the corner. Of course, this cutty turns into a bed, or that turns into a table. This pops right out. Right underneath, you can see the fountain table. We do have a porcelain footstool toilet in the bathroom. This is also a shower. Solid surface countertops all the way through. Beautiful, gorgeous. Does have a refrigerator in here. Lots of storage downstairs. This is truly an all-around boat for Florida. I mean, you, you can't, I cannot overemphasize how clean this is. Up in the front, there is a windlass. Spotlight, beautiful. Okay, I'm up here at the helm with the owner of this 2005 uh, Fountain 38LX. I do want to, again, emphasize the fact it is not the owner's responsibility to tell you anything he doesn't feel as though is necessary. It is your responsibility to get a survey. And, uh, you know, if you can, can you walk me through some of these electronics that you have on this boat? Well, each engine is uh, with gauges uh, for water pressure, voltage, uh, trim angle, RPM, um, fuel gauge, again, 300 gallons of fuel. Uh, each motor has the, the gauges here, um, complete the switches to turn on off different um, functions on there between the lights and the bilge pumps uh, manually. Um, it does have power steering with the Verado um, motors. Uh, it is fly-by-wire uh, throttle and shift controls. Uh, it does have a, a large compass here. Uh, this is a brand new stereo uh, there, uh, including an iPod um, hookup, uh, and you can control the iPod from, from the head unit there, CD player. Uh, this Furuno Navnet system, um, Furuno is known as the, the absolute best type of um, unit on the market, and it is um, a radar with, um, 30, uh, I think it's 32 mile or 36 mile radar, sonar, dual frequency sonar, uh, and a uh, GPS uh, with uh, the chart chips. I have 2011 chips uh, that go everywhere from Texas all the way, I think, up to Virginia, all the way around the Gulf Coast, all the way up the East Coast of Florida. So let me ask you a question. Do you have all the service records for this boat? I do have all the service records and um, the motors uh, and the generator were just serviced in December of 2011. Uh, with water pumps, uh, gear lube, and oil changes and filters uh, by a, a certified Mercury technician. Uh, the other thing that uh, this does have is um, a GP, uh, excuse me, a VHF radio. Uh, the main head unit for it is in the cabin. This is a remote for it, and it also has autopilot that is um, integrated into the GPS. So you can put a waypoint in on the GPS, and the autopilot will take you um, to that waypoint among other things. What was probably, what was the big selling feature on this boat that you know really stood out to you? Or maybe even an option or two that you didn't know until you owned it, that, that, that you really said, wow, that's kind of neat. Um, I would say just the versatility of it. I call it my SUV, my sport utility vessel, because it has the ability uh, to do so many things, including the full uh, canvas enclosure or eyes and glass enclosure because it makes it a lot more comfortable um, for the passengers. Uh, that, that, that was a really big thing. Um, it's unbelievably quiet uh, when it's running. Uh, you can hardly hear the generator at all and the motors are extremely quiet. And what did you say the, uh, you, you said the fuel tank is how big? It's a 300 gallon fuel tank. It has a uh, 31 gallon freshwater tank. It has a 10 gallon holding tank. And what would you say the range of this boat is, roughly? Uh, the fuel economy um, on this boat uh, runs uh, between 1.6 and 1.7 miles per gallon uh, at cruise. So with that and a 300 gallon, you know, you got at least a 400 mile range. Fantastic. So um, how, are, how long have you owned this boat? I've owned it since it was brand new. I bought it in November of 2004. I bought it in the Keys. Uh, from a new fountain dealer down there at the time, and I was their first fountain customer. You know, definitely want to point out the fact, and I know I probably already said this, uh, that is very important to ownership, is knowing that it's been at least a one owner, because you're talking to the owner that definitely took all the care of it, uh, knows the boat front to back, and, and this was just not an afterthought. He actually went out and sp you know, spent some good money on it. Um, all the way around, the icing glasses and 
excellent condition. Why is the icing glass in such great shape? I kept it um, maintenance myself. I have covers uh, that when I roll up these uh, different sections, um, I actually wrapped them in towels and, and rolled them up and uh, kept them in their own bags, zippered bags I had custom made for it. Uh, I have covers for the, uh, the seat here. I have a cover for the engines. I have a, a cover for the console. Uh, so it is. Uh, it has been um, well, well maintenanced and well, well taken care of. It is, it's my baby. I, did, I try to take as good care of it as I could. Is there anything else that you maybe want anybody to know, or you know, we think we've covered all those bases? It's just a great boat all around. You know, we've used it for fishing. We've used it for diving. We've used it for cruising. Uh, even one one evening, I had 25 people on here wow. for dinner. Not going fast, but just I was able to put 25 people on here. You know, it's, it's, a, it's a great vessel. Well, we appreciate you taking your time today. Once again, make sure it is, again, is your responsibility to verify any information that you see on this video. We could be wrong or I could be wrong. So make sure you verify any information that you saw on the video and get a survey. This is truly a one-of-a-kind boat. I have looked at a number of boats since I've been with this company and done a lot of videos. And yes, you see different ones. And what makes this unique is the size of this boat. It's a 38 footer on a trailer. I, this is the first one I've come across. Once again, it's sitting at the owner's house. Every time he wants to come wipe it down uh, or stare at it or do anything, he has the ability to do that. You don't get that with boats that are at a marina that sit in the water 24 hours a day. So definitely want to stress the fact this is a beautiful, gorgeous, well-kept boat. Give us a call.